Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't been active a whole lot lately. Um, in terms of empties for last month, I didn't have a whole lot since I was gone for a whole week. So, I'm gonna just mix um, last month's empties with this month's empties at the end of August. So, just a heads up on that. And then, I'm just trying not to buy a whole lot lately. Um, I'm trying to put money away for Candle Day at Bath and Body Works and for Black Friday with some vendors I'm wanting to order from. So I'm not going to have as many hauls as I probably would be. And that's just going to be like a continuing theme kind of for a while actually. Because um, after Winter SAS, I'm like I'm already trying to go on a slow buy. I'm going to make it even slower buy. So... I may or may not make a whole video on that. I just kind of wanted to update y'all and let you know. Um, I'm going to try and have some other wax and candle related content um, on the channel. But anyway, I rambled on for a minute and now we're going to go ahead and get into the haul. So I, these are all things that I just recently purchased. I hate the $14.50 price with the gift card and coupon. It kind of makes it eh, not as bad. So I went ahead and got some favorites of mine. First of all being, I got three vampire blood. One, two, three. I love the packaging on these candles. I'm a Halloween nut and you know, the bats with, you know, the glitter that doesn't shed on your fingers, you know, the spider webs. And I love the lids a lot. You know, I won't show you my whole kitchen, but it's got a little spider web lid. Red wax, of course, still three wicks. And I just love this whole, I just love the whole aesthetic of it. I do not like the new bottoms though. I, I honestly, I really don't. This all just needs to be down here. Personally, I'm not a fan of it, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the candle. Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvanian Plum. Vampire Blood has been one of my top five favorites since, since 2017. And I only have one left from 2017 that I burn every Halloween. I have one from 2018 that I just heard burns really bad. So I'm just gonna automatically chop that one and probably these three up too. Um, and that's all I have. And if it's gonna be one of my top scents, I'm, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and get three so I can have some to chop up in case they decide to retire it for a year or two. And Vampire Blood to me, honestly, just smells like a very sophisticated, almost like a rich person's punch, pretty much is what this smells like to me. You do get that nice floral perfume in the background. It's not cloying it's not heavy it's not like gardenia like rainforest garden something like that but it is noticeable and that like strawberry and plum is definitely there and i love plum it's one of my favorite oils and waxing candles so it was just definitely going to be one of my favorites sorry about all that shaking next we have a candle i have waited for years to get um in a candle and that's ghoul friend and i love the rose this is probably my favorite packaging of the whole year so far the different colored roses and the spider web, same, of course, spider lid. It's, it reminds me a lot of like Avril Lavigne 2000s, like music. It's my favorite genre of music is, you know, the whole punk rock, pop punk-ish kind of music. So just seeing this just reminds me a lot of the 2000s. I don't know exactly why, but it just, I don't know, it just makes me really happy. I love the packaging and I really love the scent. Dark strawberries, ghostly peony, spine chilling citrus. This one is just, you know, a body care scent. Again, I mean, it's nothing crazy. You do get like a nice sugar, like really, really sugary sweet citrus. And it does actually smell like peony. This isn't like a generic floral where it's like midnight blooming jasmine. Hmm, you know, it kind of smells like jasmine that I've smelled before. This definitely is peony. It's that nice youthful pink floral with the same kind of strawberry and vampire blood. So I made sure to get three of this because this is just one of my all time favorite scents and I'm so glad to finally have it in candle form. Move that crate on over and let's bring this one in. This one we have one, two, three of the cinnamon Irish cream. I love the squirrel on this drink. It's a little hot cocoa. I love the whole packaging on this whole line and I'm a sucker for owls. I used to really, really love owls as a kid. And you got the whole um, acorn and leaf slid. I just, I just really love this packaging. I love the jar and the scent is also fantastic on this one. Cinnamon Irish cream and cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, French vanilla with essential oils. Yeah, right. So this one to me, 
hear me out. Originally, all I got from this was like a homemade buttercream with cinnamon. Smelling it more and more, I can kind of get like a Irish cream coffee creamer. Like, I don't know. It smells like you've made a homemade vanilla buttercream. You've added cinnamon to it. And then you took like baker cinnamon, like gr fresh ground cinnamon, really good high quality cinnamon, not just the stuff you can get at the grocery store. And it smells like you splashed some cinnamon, like not cinnamon, but you sp spilt some um, Irish cream coffee creamer in it that had coffee in it. If that makes sense, like coffee with Irish cream creamer in it that you mixed in with the vanilla buttercream and you added some like really good quality baking cinnamon to it. It's just a beautiful scent. I'm not a coffee fan, so it's very minute, or not minute, minute, like in the background. It's not very heavy, but it is noticeable. Um, I just love the way it all blends together. This one, I only have one, and it's for my collection. It's pumpkin peanut brittle. I've never picked this candle up. And this is crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. You get zero pumpkin in this candle. Back in the day, I used to, like when it first came out, when I first smelled it, I was really grossed out by it because it smelled like um, peanut butter on a Ritz cracker. And it's like, ugh, I was not a fan of that Ritz cracker salty vibe. Now to me, it smells like a home, like a caramel that you made and you dumped a lot of peanut butter in it. And it doesn't smell bad. It, it's mostly peanut butter. And then I do get like a hint of like a very light caramel drizzle kind of vibe in it. Um, it's a really nice one. I'm glad to finally have at least one for my collection. Next, we have these two bad boys, which were online only, but my store happened to have a few. I only got one of each, of course, one for each of my collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, banana cream pie real quick. Let me move that out the way, cause that's gonna blind y'all. Banana cream pie. Fresh banana slices, whipped cream, scoop of peanut butter, cookie, crumble, crust. Now this one, I don't get like, okay, so honestly what this smells like to me is you took like a banana pudding, a cheap banana pudding, like not a really good quality one, sad to say, crushed up some vanilla wafers as the base to it, and you swirled just a scoop, like just a scoop, barely any peanut butter, and kind of like swirled it in. That's what it reminds me of. Um, it's not bad, but this one also isn't one that I would get like 50 million. Like, I don't need more than maybe two more of this one. Like, it's okay. I like it. I would use it, but I also don't feel like I need to get like four or five of this one. You know what I mean? But I'm glad to at least have one for my collection, especially since it was online only for the longest time. Um, this would actually blend really good with pumpkin peanut brittle, in my opinion, if you're looking for more of like a peanut butter vibe. And speaking of peanut butter, we have peanut butter and jelly. I love this packaging as most people do. And this one is fresh strawberry jam, toasted bread, crunchy peanut butter, drizzle of honey. Now I don't get any honey. Well, like I don't get any like honey, like honey, honey, like real honey. Maybe like a, like a honey bread kind of vibe, maybe, but really it's not too prominent. I don't know, okay, so. The honey isn't too prominent, but I will say that you do get like a really perfumey strawberry kind of vibe. Um, the bread is the most prominent note. It doesn't smell toasted. It doesn't smell like toast. It smells like a fresh slice of bread. And peanut butter is barely any there. Like, again, if you want more peanut butter, mix it with pumpkin peanut brittle. And we're almost done. I only have five more to show y'all. And I have to go on to the floor and pick them up because I didn't have room on my kitchen island for all of these. Here we are. So this one, I got two more warm apple pies. One, two. The notes on warm apple pie is baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, flaky homemade crust. This, you do get that nice, rich, buttery pie crust. And that melted brown sugar and kind of like a mixed apple kind of vibe. With that really, really nice, like, like dark brown sugar almost. 
it's such a beautiful apple pie scent and I'm glad I have two to chop up now because I only got one for my collection originally so I'm really glad to have some to chop up now this one I got wine cellar I finally got my hands on this one this was hard to get in my area because people went crazy over this when they brought it back last winter I was gonna get some candle day literally three days before candle day they all sold out and I'm like yeah they gonna come back and get a price adjustment weasels but it's fine. They brought it back this year. I ha I have a s original smoked berries and incense I got off of Mercari still. So it's nice to finally have, you know, something wine cellar to chop up and like use other than my one I have from Destination Wax, which is still very similar. Don't get me wrong. But this is like wine cellar, wine cellar. And this is the notes are supposedly mold apples, fresh fig, cedar wood. Honestly, that's not what I get. It's like the cousin to peppered plum but I still prefer Pepper Plum, don't get me wrong. This one just has more of that incense vibe. Like, mold fruits just in general, not really apples. Fig is a very sensual fruit, and I can get that kind of vibe in here, but I don't really get apples really at all. It's just a very sensual, incense-y kind of fragrance. It's a very conceptual scent, and I do really, really enjoy this one. I like the... I like the color jar. I do not like the white barn labels. I prefer the old ones. I don't like the texture to them. I don't like the shape, um, the font. I just, honestly, I'm not a big fan of this, but I do really like the jar. Speaking of white barn, we have marshmallow pumpkin latte and the label's kind of messed up. This one, marshmallow pumpkin latte, again, this one's going into my collection as I don't have one yet. I've never picked this one up. And this is pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, and praline musk. To be honest, there's no pumpkin really. Not pumpkin spice, no cinnamon even. Like it's really weird. But I do get like a sweet, almost toasted marshmallow body care kind of vibe. I, was, I would assume that the praline musk is kind of like what's giving you that sweet musky body care kind of vibe. It's nice. Um, I just wouldn't have personally named it marshmallow pumpkin latte but it is a nice scent regardless and again i really love the color of the jar do not like the label personally um and the scent's nice so i'm glad to be able to finally have something marshmallow pumpkin latte and then last but not least we have my first ever blueberry maple pancakes into the collection this one will go nice rich blue wax um let's see the scent notes on this one are wild blueberries griddle fresh pancakes warm maple syrup now, let me tell you something though this is like 90% like a blueberry, I don't know, part of me wants to say it's more of like a compote. It's very sugary, sugary sweet. I mean like one of the most artificial sweet blueberry scents I've ever smelled. Like this isn't authentic. It doesn't have a tartness to it like it doesn't like I feel like if there would have been like a hint of like some something like lime really or lemon kind of would have toned it down just a little bit and given it like a little bit of freshness and I do kind of get the kind of vibe they're wanting to go with this honestly I don't smell anything baked so I'm not gonna call this a bakery candle personally I don't get pancakes on cold I really don't. I don't get any kind of baked good. I don't get a muffin. I don't get a crumble pie crust. There's lots of different bakery notes. This just smells gourmand sweet to me. And maple syrup, if you sit and imagine it, it's kind of there. So it's like 10% or less kind of thing. It's a it's an okay scent. Again, this wouldn't be one that I would go out and get 50 of, or I don't even think I would get more than maybe two of this one either. Maybe three on candle day, on candle day. But um, it's an okay scent. I like the label, the wax is nice, and it's a good scent, it's a good blueberry scent. But it's not the best blueberry pancake or blueberry bakery scent I've ever smelled. And maple is kind of like, eh, are you sure about that kind of thing, so. Anyway, that's my candle haul, minus a welcome home I got. That one legit smells like apple butter. I make my own homemade apple butter a lot. So that one I will say does smell like a very home, like a homemade authentic. Um, it doesn't smell like a warm, fresh apple butter. It's fresh, don't get me wrong, but it's not like you just turn the crock pot off after doing it. It's like, okay, it's kind of had some time to settle. 
and like you're about to put it on like a biscuit but it doesn't have a bakery note so don't get that part twisted that's just the kind of vibe it reminds me of um i really like that scent and i do plan to get more of that one um it's a really nice candle i don't know which one i like more that one or warm apple pie I'm, they're probably gonna have to be tied for different reasons that one doesn't have any bakery note and um it's still really good though, um, in its own right, but that's a whole other thing. I just already put it up, so I don't wanna like go through my candle stash and pull it out. So that's it for my Bath and Body Works candle haul for fall. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get more. I'm probably, I'm, honestly, I'm sure I will. But in terms of like vendor wax and body care and all that, um, I don't know what my next order's gonna be. I do, I do know my birthday's coming up and I am probably gonna treat myself to something from um, the body shop that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, I might get some candles then too. I don't know. It's really just going to kind of depend on my mood. Um, and how bad I want to treat myself. Because the stuff I'm wanting from Body Shop is actually expensive. It doesn't really go on sale very often. So I'm going to have to wait for it to go on sale and everything. I want to get like four things. And the Body Shop, the regular body care is fine. But I want to get some of the stuff from the Drops of Youth line. And that stuff ain't cheap. So that's probably going to be like my main birthday gift to myself. Um... But I may or may not get some candles, kind of depending on what kind of promotions they run. Um, honestly, I don't know yet. But um, I do have an empties coming up at the end of the month. And then, <clears throat> pardon me, I haven't had anything to drink or eat yet, so my bad. Um, the only thing I can think of um, other than that would be like Black Friday orders. And then maybe a candle haul or two, like every now and again. But they won't be near as big as this. So... I think I've rambled on enough. Um, thank you all so much for sticking around. Thank you all much. Wow, I cannot speak this morning. Thank you all so much for sticking around and thank you all for watching the video. Um, what's your, what's the, if you've been to Bath and Body Works and smelled all the fall candles, especially fall phase two, what's the one scent that you're really, really, really wanting to pick up? Mine would probably be more apple butter, or not apple butter, good night, more welcome home, which smells like apple butter. And then white pumpkin because I love white pumpkin and my stores said they didn't have any when I put stuff on hold and they did and I didn't see it until I was walking out the store so I do need to go back and get more of that one eventually but um yeah so what's your favorite fall candle so far and then what's the one fall candle like from phase two or not even necessarily phase two but like what's the one fall candle that you're really eyeing right now that you're really wanting to get from Bath and Body Works um I think that's it. So I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.